Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my vlog channel. I'm so happy you're here and I hope you enjoy all the episodes to come. This first episode is gonna be about buying my new car, which was super exciting for me. Even though I have my dream car, I had to adult and get something that was more reliable on um, higher commutes because I commute three hours a day for work. Um, so I was super excited to find something really nice and sporty. So I'm gonna take you along my journey in the morning that I ended up buying it. You know, all those nerves, super excited. Um, then I'm gonna kind of give you a little tidbit of a typical day for me. Um, I put a little clip in of seeing the Oreo man at my work. I can't post a lot about my day job. So that was just a little kind of little tidbit while I was at work and then the gym and then the weekend that I hung out with my friends and yeah, so super exciting. I hope you guys enjoy and I can't wait to see where this journey goes. Bye guys. excited I just woke up so I kind of still look like a hot mess I've got my coffee brewing and I'm gonna go pick up my new car today super excited so I have a really nice sports car because I have a really nice Mustang but I commute for work and it's just too much in gas and it's a clutch and it's just not really feasible for my life. So I'm really excited because I got a super cute Kia Forte and it's gonna be really, really good on gas and it's got tinted windows and a moonroof. So it's almost kind of got that like sporty look. So anyway, I'm going to get ready and then we're going to go. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm all ready. Here we go. I can find the door knob. Better make sure I lock it. I am so excited to get a new car. It's going to be life changing. Like this Mustang was my dream car, but at least I got to pay it off for the five years, six years. So I got my dream car for six years, but when it comes to having to commute for work, it's kind of smart. All right, let's go. Yay, I'm at the bank and I'm like 10 minutes early. That never happens in my world ever. <laughs> I struggle with trying to get to anything on time with how crazy busy my life is. I'm super, super excited. I've got like that little heart pitter patter because I'm just excited. Didn't really sleep well last night because it's like a kid the night before Christmas. Ah, it's just going to be so nice having a better car for commuting and hopefully I get to move to California this year and it's going to be better for my commute in California. I love my Mustang, but um, yeah, it's definitely going to be nice having a more fuel efficient car that'll definitely hold up for like the next five years with uh, high commuting miles. But the Mustang is still gorgeous, still looks like brand new. I'm sad to get rid of my little baby, but I think it's going to be really exciting, you guys. I cannot wait to show you guys the car. It's super cute. I don't have a moonroof in this Mustang. It's not a convertible. But woo, that's gonna be nice. Hey, hey, hey. So I know you guys have probably been waiting for this tour. I'm gonna show you the tour of my new car. Super excited. I'm a little bummed because it said it had a moonroof. It does not. And it was supposed to have keyless entry. So far, it does not. So I have to go to the dealership and see. But this is the car. It's actually super, super nice. Now you can go see the trunk. The trunk is actually really huge compared to my Mustang. like legit all the way back there. 
and you can put the seeds down and make it even bigger. Like if I was moving, super stoked. All right guys, well, I wanted to give you that update and super excited because now I have a car that'll be way better on gas than the Mustang. Oh. New York City, pretty and gritty, home of Biggie and Diddy. Come on, holla at me if you're feeling proud. This where the people move a mile a minute with stylish gimmicks. Come on, if you're with it, man, say it loud. New York. The feeling is right, I'm stealing the night. Got about Lady Liberty's life. Uh, so if you're trying to win the rat race, keep it moving fast pace. Look how cute that's, this park is. Uh, tennis court. It's Laurelhurst Park. This is what I'm it's doing. I am walking with these little minions. I'm at the park. I'm not these little minions. I'm and Stephanie. At the Say hi to my friend, you guys. Ah. This bump. This bump. <laughs> Say hi. Eh. Say hi. Uh, hi. Eh. Hi. <laughs> I gave them them That's like what I'm up to right babies. now. Hi, honey. Oh my gosh. Hi, honey. Hi, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Don't hurt them. You can make a no big cheesecake. Oh my gosh. You can hear their little chirpies. Huh? Oh my gosh. I want them. Yeah. It's sprinkling. Oh my Lanta, they're so freaking cute. Little ducky babies. I'm, I'm oh hi honey. I'm in hi honey. Oh you just scared them. Oh my gosh, little baby. But they're good. Set. Go. <laughs> Or two. I don't, oh gosh, I already feel nauseous. <laughs> I'm getting old. Oh. Do you feel nauseous yet? Or is it just me? No, not yet. Oh god. Oh god. I used to be able to swing all the time. Old, you guys. This is middle aged oldness. She has a year to go. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. How are you guys doing? Magic, check up, check. Really rainy out here, but this place is so gorgeous, you guys. Look. It's almost like little cottages. Love it. Snow White. That's what it reminds me of, Snow White. Yeah, that's great. Oh, and here. Nope, we need to go back to the other trails. Yo, look at these flowers right now. Nestled in the big city of Portland is this gorgeous park. Adventure day with my girl Stephanie. <laughs> hey. And all the kiddos. Well, some of them. <laughs> look at these cute lamps. It's like storybook. The smell, though. Oh my god. I'm like, yeah, the smell is amazing. It smells so fresh. I love it. So good. 
Oh my god, that smells so good. Look at this view, you guys. What was this Laurel. Laurelhurst? Okay, so we gotta go that way. We're zigzagging. Look how gorgeous this trail is. Oh my gosh. So this is Laurelhurst Park in Portland, Oregon. We can hear you. Yeah. We're on an adventure. Checking out this new park. Getting some footage. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, bless you. Like. <laughs> bless you. Oh, so fresh in the allergy. <laughs> Look how cool, you guys. Oh, this is so nice. This is so neat. Can we make a fire? Yeah, look right there. Oh, they have a little teepee to make a fire. Oh, okay. That's funny. You guys see that little teepee there? <laughs> She's on it. So cute. Someone made a little tape peg. <laughs> Don't hurt it. So cool, you guys. Woo! I just that Look at that way. deep hole. What does that tree say? I'm gonna karate chop that tree. You're gonna karate chop the tree? What did the tree do? Oh. <laughs> Breakfast, blah, 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 words. breakfast smoothie. Also, one of my favorite things to make in the afternoon when I'm a little low on energy and I want to get stuff done. So I'm going to show you how to make that. A lot of people keep asking the recipes for the stuff I make. So I figure I might as well do a video of it because it's a lot easier to show you guys. Okay. So I start with organic banana. You don't have to do organic. I just prefer organic banana. This is definitely my favorite. It's super high in a lot of things like iron, magnesium, calcium. <clears throat> I just tear this into pieces, little pieces, so that it doesn't clog up the blender. I'll do that one. And then I just sprinkle a little bit of chia seeds. So chia seeds are really high in calcium, magnesium, and iron. So I actually discovered how important magnesium was um, because I was having issues sleeping at night and I actually discovered that magnesium is good for regulating your sleep. So I don't have to take things like melatonin or anything like that, which I love because I don't like taking medicines. So I love making sure I get enough magnesium in my diet. Um, and calcium, I actually have lower bo bone density due to a condition that I have so it's a little bit lower than the average person um, so I like to make sure that I'm getting a lot of calcium without too much dairy because the body has a hard time breaking down dairy so I try to limit that even though dairy is my favorite and then I put a little bit of peanut butter in there shockingly peanut butter is actually low in sugar there's only three grams of sugar it's got fiber and it's very low in carbs so I put a nice healthy spoonful of peanut butter in there that's actually really good for you And I'll show you guys my little guilty pleasure healthy hack, right? So this stuff, it's earth balance. I'm all about like organic, so I always look for a little GMO sticker. Um, it's actually slower in carbs and sugar 
than peanut butter. <laughs> and it is chocolate coffee crunch. It does have peanuts in there. So I usually add a spoonful of that as a layer. It's a little bit thicker. It's almost kind of got like a Nutella thickness to it, but Nutella is really, really high in sugar and carbs and not good stuff. This stuff, you can get away with it. So it almost like messes with you a little bit. So you're like, oh, I'm getting something like sweet. <laughs> and then I actually add a little MCT oil and that's just so I can get some extra um, good fats in there because I do eat fairly low carb. So you want something for the body to break down. So I usually just add extra fat. So getting your MCT, I'll put that in my coffee or my smoothie. And it's straight from coconut. So if you're allergic to coconut, maybe not. Um, and then I like to get this instead of regular milk, even though I prefer regular milk. It's my favorite drink in the whole world. But again, I try to stay away from dairy. So I actually love this stuff because it has a thickness like milk. Cause you know how sometimes coconut milk has like a transparency to it and it doesn't even look like milk. Yeah, this, this messes with my head a little bit. So I think I'm getting milk <laughs> and I probably add like maybe a quarter cup or half a cup and then spinach. And I know this sounds like, ew, this is going to be awful. Cause you're going to taste that spinach. No, you want like a good healthy, like handful of spinach and you just squish that in there. Trust me, it's gonna be green when you're done with it, but it is actually does not taste anything. I'm gonna pour a little extra milk in there. Um, it actually doesn't taste anything like spinach at all, but you get the really good benefits of spinach. Okay, this next part might be kind of loud. Turn your bulk down. It's usually pretty quick. I actually have an off brand of Nutribullet. I love it it's actually pretty quick and this thing is super cool because you literally take this off and it comes with a cap so it's super cool i literally can just go and this is what it looks like so it's nice and bright green because it's got all that good stuff in there oh i'm about to pour it over all over you guys let me see if i can angle it downwards you guys see that yummy goodness now i'm like clipping you guys off rude okay Mm. so good don't even taste the spinach it literally tastes like peanut butter and banana yeah. anyway that's my little healthy breakfast smoothie slash afternoon and like i said it has so much healthy like vitamins stuff, stuff like that it keeps me like energetic so when i get home and i'm really tired rather than drinking another cup of coffee and not sleeping at night i'll make one of those and i'm like ready to go